Time for a tall tale short. On a shimmering night in Sugarville, mischievous twins Jelly and Bean lay wide awake. Their dreams, much like themselves, were as wild as licorice vines and as sweet as honey drips. They yearned to taste the twinkling candy constellations, a dream as lofty as a skyscraping Sunday. Jelly, Bean whispered with twinkling eyes, what if we could turn stargazing into star tasting? Jelly giggled, her smile stretching wider than a gummy worm. Oh, Bean, that would indeed be the tastiest adventure of all. Thus, they hatched a daring plan as bold and bright as a double rainbow after a summer drizzle. To reach the heavens, they would craft a candy catapult, a contraption conceived in whimsy and built on bravery and bonbons. First, they met Marshmallow Moose, the gentle giant of the candy cane forest. With a belly laugh as fluffy as his marshmallow mane, he helped them gather magical mint leaves, springier than jelly beans, to create a bouncy launch pad. Next, the gumdrop gnomes, those jolly jellied jesters, offered rainbow sprinkles, each color lending a pinch of pixie magic for an extra dash of sweetness. But gathering the elusive stardust, the secret catapult ingredient, was a bit of a pickle, or rather a sour lemon. The stardust was in the keeping of the sour lemon witch, whose smiles were as rare as chocolate snowflakes. They needed a plan as clever as a fox with a sack full of tricks. Mr. Witch, Bean began, his voice as smooth as caramel. Your lemon grove sparkles brighter than any star in the sky. And your sour lemon pies, Jelly added, are surely a delight, a treat even a sweet-toothed fairy would envy. The witch's surprise was as tangible as a sugar plum fairy in a Christmas dream. And then, to their delight, he chuckled, a sound as unexpected and sweet as a strawberry in a pea pod. Touched by their praises, the witch, not so sour now, handed over the stardust. Launch day arrived brighter than a butterscotch sunrise. The peppermint lever was pulled and whoosh! They soared higher than a kite on a windy day until they were amidst the candy constellations. There, they encountered a celestial surprise, starlight twins, Comet and Nebula. You're here to snatch our candy stars, Comet huffed, his words prickly as a porcupine's pillow. Nebula crossed her arms, her eyes as cold as a popsicle. Jelly and Bean, however, brimming with Sugarville's sunny spirit, made a proposal as sweet as a cherry pie. We come from Sugarville, land of endless sweets. What about a trade? Are Sugarville treats for your candy stars? Comet and Nebula hesitated, then confessed. They had always dreamed of visiting Sugarville, but couldn't because they were bound to the night sky. This offer was a sprinkling of hope, a rainbow in their starlit existence. With laughter echoing like jingling jingle bells, they swapped sweets and realized the sweetest truth of all. No candy star or Sugarville treat was as sweet as the taste of newfound friendship and shared joy. In the grand universe of candy and constellations, it was love and laughter that sparkled the brightest. This was a tall tale short, small but mighty stories, released daily in audio format. Create, read, and share more tales at talltale.com.